Hello YouTube! My name's John, and today I'm playing Coffee Break, which is a mod for Wolfenstein 3D, if that's not painfully obvious by this point. Uh, made by Executor, who, uh, fun fact, is actually the same person who developed Operation Serpent, which I played on my channel before. Now, Coffee Break's not nearly as ambitious as Operation Serpent, but that's not a bad thing. Uh, it's much more of a traditional Wolfenstein 3D experience. Um, in fact, aside from its silly sense of humor, I feel like this mod could very easily be a, uh, an expansion to the original game. We have brand new enemies, we have brand new weapons alongside the original roster, and of course some brand new levels as you can see here. You can kind of get a taste of the silly sense of humor already. There's Castle Hasselhoff as episode one. Um, now as of this recording, you can kind of tell probably by this point that there are some things missing here. There were supposed to be six episodes, but we've only gotten up to two episodes by 2020. Maybe we'll get more in the future, maybe not, I'm not really sure, but I just kind of figured I'd play what we got now, because I've played a little bit of this and I really like what I've seen so far, so I just kind of wanted to experience all of it for uh, your viewing pleasure. There's 20 levels to get through, so let's just go ahead and get started. So we're going to be starting with episode one, of course, and <laughs> I really I really love the difficulties here. Uh, we're not a decaf or a house blend person. I think we're going to be playing on French Roast, because I know, if there's anything I know about this mod so far, it can be fairly challenging, and I'm sure it's only going to get even more challenging as we go along. So the default uh, French Roast setting, I think, is going to be what we're going to go with here. So, all right, let's just go ahead and get started here. Coffee Break, episode one. So, like all good Wolfenstein mods and Wolfenstein games in general, we start out with a lowly pistol. We seem to have hopped over this fence and killed this guard, and now we have his weapon. And now 24 pieces of ammo. So, Now, I just want to go ahead and say, uh, I kind of mentioned it earlier, but I've played a little bit of this already. I've played up to level 5 of episode 1, to be precise. So, anything beyond that's going to be blind, but these first few levels are going to be uh, a little bit familiar. Like, I know, for example, this room in here contains dogs and a little bit of health that I could scavenge if I need it. Well, it looks like I do. And there's a guy coming out of here. There we go. All right, I think I think there's some chicken dinner in here. And possibly in here, or in here. There it is. Okay. Uh, this whole mod's also powered by EC Wolf, so we're gonna be seeing a variety of features that weren't in the original game being taken advantage of here, which is pretty nice. Also, I love some con con modern conveniences, like this is a gold key door with an actual gold thing on it, so you know it's a gold key door. Uh, why couldn't the original game have something like that? I don't know. Alright, and lo and behold, here's our first new enemy, the Green Guard, who has a rifle, believe it or not. The German rifle. Oh god, what was that? The bolt-action German rifle in World War II whose name escapes me despite playing so many different World War II games in my life, and I've studied it slightly. I really should know by this point. Anyway, we're gonna get our hands on that, don't worry. There's one right over here, I think. There it is, okay. So this thing. The rifle. It, this feels almost like the Wolfenstein equivalent to a shotgun. It's like a single shot, long reload time, but it does a lot of damage. Has its own ammo system separate from the pistol and machine gun ammo. And those guards drop it whenever you find one of these things. Alright, gonna switch back to the pistol temporarily. Oh god. Oof, well that hurt quite a bit. Um, let's find some, uh, let's go find some health real quick before we die. Okay. Thankfully, I do know where some of the secrets are in this level. try to survive. As you can see, taking a point-blank shot from a rifle in this game is uh, not a pleasant experience, to say the least. Ooh. But we survived, thankfully. Alright. I really love how the sound effects, like when you pick up this weapon, the rifle, it plays a unique sound effect. When you pick up rifle rounds, it plays a unique sound effect. But it all feels very much in-universe, right? Like it just, again, it just, I don't think it was intended to sound like a, uh, a an expansion of the Wolfenstein, but it certainly fits the bill, you know? All right, I know there's a secret right here, based on my tests previously, and yes, there's lovely med kits in here. And all these. All right. I'm gonna save some of that rifle ammo. Ooh, these guys coming out. There's one more in there somewhere. There we go. You may recognize some of these sound effects from uh, either the Macintosh Wolfenstein or the uh, various Wolfendoom mods I've played over the years. 
build one up right there. I'm probably going to save that just in case I got ambushed again, but I think I know this level well enough that I'm not going to take any more severe damage, but of course as soon as I say that I'm sure going to get ambushed at any moment now, but anyway, let's just go ahead and run back. Now that we, uh, oh wait, we don't have the gold key yet. Did we not grab the gold key in that room? Am I really that dense? There's a gold key in that room. Jeez. Yeah, that one right there, you know? It's kind of important to grab those. It's usually vital to playing Wolfenstein is finding the keys, you know? Just just a little, you know, just a little uh, pro gamer tip. Uh, find the keys in order to win Wolfenstein, you know? Anyway, all right. As you can see, it has a really nice long range of doing massive damage. However, as you're about to find out, it's not a great weapon against these guys. I recommend something a little more rapid fire to fight those guys. You can use the rifle against them, but it takes two shots, and by the time you reload, you may get a face full of SS officer shot, which usually means you're dead. So use this with caution when you're fighting SS. That's really just my recommendation there. So anyway, well, there you go. That's the first level. Not too, uh, not too long. But uh, there's plenty more craziness to come, don't worry. But anyway, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next episode of Coffee Break. All right, later.